Royal Dutch Shell PLC, traded as RDSA, is a global group of energy and petrochemical companies of at least 101,000 employees, which operates in more than 90 countries around the world. Their strategic aim and goal is to be the market leader in the oil and gas industry, providing competitive returns to state shareholders while helping to meet global energy demands in a responsible way. They operate in both upstream and downstream and technology. In the upstream operation, they are focused on exploration and developing oil and gas reserves, while they concentrate on cash generation in the downstream sector of their business. The technology sector is targeted at new businesses in the field of alternative and renewable energy generation. The Royal Dutch Shell PLC business model is built around a global giant with an awareness of its business environment and anticipation of the future state of its business environment. However, no matter the position, at least 90% or more of RDSA revenue is currently generated from oil and gas, essentially petroleum and liquefied gas sector of the energy industry. With the declining world stock of crude oil and the need to consider alternative energy, both in commercial and business survival sense, Shell has had to develop new business alternatives which are referred to under their blueprint scenario. The blueprint scenarios consider the change in demand and consumption of crude oil and attempt to predict the new consumption attitude of the world and position Shell to benefit from this. Some of these new products being considered by Royal Dutch Shell are biofuel, hydrogen and compressed natural gas. And this sourcing of new product lines external to crude oil is carried out and referred to as the challenge preventing. In line with the alternative energy development, Royal Dutch Shell and Cosan SA have just signed a binding $12 billion joint venture agreement as of August 2010, which requires regulatory approval. This joint venture is aimed at commercialising the production of ethanol and power from sugarcane, aiming at an annual production of over 2 billion litres. Shell already has 10 cogeneration plants operational, and the aim is to increase the number of cogeneration plants and reach at least 18 billion litres of this renewable fuel. The concept of the weighted average cost of capital indicates that RDSA should consider its debt and equity component in determining its cost of capital, which will then be used in appraising her project. One of such projects which would have been appraised in the $12 billion joint venture with COSAN SA for the ethanol production project. RDSA is a high value company with a market capitalization of $173.76 billion. This truly makes them a giant, and as such, the need for adjusting the weighted average cost of capital due to a change in capital structure will need to arise from a very large project. The question is whether or not the RDSA COSAN SAJV is indeed such a project. Another argument for potentially adjusting RDA's weighted average cost of capital could be that the venture into the use of ethanol as a fuel sourced from sugarcane rather than cube oil represents a different risk profile and as such a new cost of capital should be calculated. There are no clear guidelines as in the same breath another school of thought may be that the venture to use sugarcane to produce ethanol as a source of fuel, biofuel, may not be entirely a different risk profile as this is essentially still the energy industry which is the traditional domain of RDSA.